Do you want to write like your favorite author? In this video, I'm going to show you how, by creating a GPT model inside ChatGPT. Then, I'm going to use it, to analyze the author's writing style. Finally, I'm going to use that analysis to find prompt, to write in their style. Let's get started. First, I'm going to show you the process of creating the GPT. Before we start, let me go over the prerequisites. You need a chat GPT plus subscription to create GPTs and analyze writing style of authors. If you don't have a plus subscription, you can manually analyze writing style of a text. However, the quality of the response will be low compared to using a GPT. Now, I am in the discovery section of my chat GPT plus account. You can get this screen by clicking the explore item on the left menu. Let me start by clicking on the create a GPT button. There are two sections called create and configure. In create section, chat GPT builds the GPT by asking questions from us. However, I am going to use configure section. It allows me to clearly define my own instructions instead of letting chat GPT generate it. I am going to name it as AIRZ writing style analyzer. I am adding a short description here. I am selecting use doll option for the profile picture of GPT. You can also upload a custom image. Now, the image is ready. I am going to skip instructions for now and take a look at the capability section. Web browsing and doll E are selected by default. Since this GPT requires web browsing, I am going to keep it and remove access to doll E. Now, let me save the GPT. We have three options to choose. I am going to use only people with a link option. Let me click confirm to create the GPT. Now, the GPT is created and ready to use. Let me click on the explore button to show the GPT. The writing analyzer I created is on the top of my GPT's list. There is another GPT with same name which I used for testing. Let me edit the GPT to add functionality. Now, I'm going to add instructions in configure section. Here is my first instruction. Following is the list of commands that you should execute based on the user request. Unlike coding, there is no standard way to give instructions. You can tell the same thing in various different ways using plain English. Now, I'm going to add the first command. I use a custom commands tag. You can use any format of your choice. I am starting my commands with at sign. You can use any sign. You can even use plain sentences without commands. After the at sign, I have the name of the command as ws a text. Then, I have text as a parameter. Next, I ask ChatGPT to pass the text to the prompt that I will be creating shortly. Now, I'm going to add the prompt to analyze the writing style. Let me explain the prompt. I am going to keep the prompt with an opening and closing prompt tags. First, I have step 1 where I ask ChatGPT to repeat the text that I am passing to the WS a text command. In step 2, I ask ChatGPT to analyze the text based on a set of guidelines that I will be adding to the prompt. Since I use square brackets in all parts of the prompt to define the text, ChatGPT can easily identify it as a parameter. Now, I have to provide guidelines. I am going to use ChatGPT to create the guidelines. Let me start a new chat with ChatGPT4. Let's ask ChatGPT to give detailed guidelines for analyzing the writing style of specific text. Here, it's providing guidelines based on various categories. I am going to copy the ones I like. Let me paste them into a rich text editor to keep the format. Now, I'm going to add the guidelines to step 2. I am pasting them here. Let me add some formatting to make it readable. Now, it looks good. I am going to update the GPT. I am selecting update, then confirm access to people with a public link. Let's view the GPT with updated instructions. Here, I can start messaging GPT and get responses based on given instructions. First, I need some text to analyze. I like this article by James Clear. So, I am copying this text. 
Let me switch back to the GPT. Earlier, I specified a command to analyze the text. Here, I am using that command, WSA, text. You have to keep a space and paste the copied text. Let's run the command, and see if the analyzer is working as expected. As you can see, writing style analyzer, is analyzing the given text based on each guideline. We get good explanation with example phrases from the text. This analysis will be a basic one based on the existing knowledge of chat GPT. If you are an experienced writer, you can verify the accuracy of these explanations. Even though this is basic, we can use knowledge files to provide in-depth guidelines about writing styles. Such analysis will be higher quality and more accurate than this one. I want two things now. First, I want to get suggestions for improving the writing style of this text. Second, I want to build a prompt that can write any text using this style. I am going to edit the GPT to make these changes. I am using the configure tab again. We have two steps so far. I am adding the third one, asking to suggest how the writing style can be improved. Step four is asking for the prompt. I am asking to generate a prompt that incorporates key elements of his writing style. I want a generic prompt for his style. Then, I am giving an example of what the prompt should look like. Let's update the GPT with these instructions and see how it works. Let me click View GPT button. This will always start a new conversation with our GPT. I am sending the previous text again to the WSA text command. I will skip the analysis part, as it's similar to last time. Now, we get suggestions for improvements, after the analysis. Also, we get a text prompt, that can be used to rewrite text in the same style. Here is the prompt. Write in a formal direct tone, mixing short impactful statements with longer explanatory ones. Use clear concrete language with practical examples. Employ rhetorical questions to engage and provoke thought. Focus on advice giving or informative content, suitable for an audience interested in self-improvement or practical insights. Now, I'm going to use this prompt. This time, I am copying some text from a different article. Let me paste it here, and define it as my text variable. Now, I'm going to copy this prompt and add text as a parameter. Let's run it and see what happens. Now, it's rephrasing my text using the guidelines in prompt. Even though it's not exactly similar to the writing style of first text, it follows the characteristics we extracted from the writing style. We can always improve the style by providing more examples and modifying the prompt in multiple iterations. Let me verify the changes in writing style by asking to compare the result with original text. Here, it explains how the text was rephrased under the given guidelines in the prompt. Seems like the rephrased text is closely following the style I expected. So far, we analyzed the style based on given text. Now, I'm going to analyze writing style, just by using author name. Let me edit the GPT to add another command. First, I have to select the configure tab. Let me expand the instructions window, to see all the details clearly. The new command is, WSA, author. We have to pass author name as a parameter. Let me explain how I want to handle this command. Chat GPT has to get author's writings by browsing the web. Then, I am asking to pick one of the longer articles, and capture at least 300 words from it. Finally, I am asking to pass the text, and URL of the article to my existing prompt. Let me also modify step 1 to include the URL. I am adding another command called, WSA, article. We have to pass a URL of an article to this command. This command will capture the content from the article, and pass it to the prompt. The process is same, as analyzing by author name. Let's update the GPT with new commands. Click on View GPT, to start a new conversation with updated settings. I'll start with, WSA, author command. 
I am going to analyze one of my favorite authors, Seth Godin. Let's run it and see what happens. It starts by using, browse with Bing option. Then, it's internally looking for Seth Godin's blog. Now, it's visiting the blog to find the content. It's analyzing one of the posts from his blog. However, it failed to show the text from article in step 1. So, I am canceling the process. Let's say step 1 is missing. This time, it's providing the content from that article, along with the URL. Let's check if it's a valid article, or a hallucination. Seems like the URL is not working. Let's manually check, if such article exists in this blog. Here it is. The paradigm flip, is the article that was used for analyzing. Let's check if content is same. As you can see, ChatGPT has grabbed full content of this article. Even though URL was incorrect, the content is valid. Let me ask to continue analyzing. I am going to fast forward the analysis part. Now, I have the analysis based on the writing style of that article, along with improvements and prompt. Let me try another author. This time, I am choosing James Clear. The browsing process is same as last time. It's intelligent enough to pick up the official site of the author. As you can see, it's not making the same mistake again. This time, it gives the text from the article, before starting the analysis. Let me check if this URL is a valid one. It's working perfectly. Now, I can ask it to continue analysis. I am going to skip it as there is nothing different to explain. You can use this method, to analyze most of the popular authors with public articles. So far, I analyzed writing style based on text, as well as by author. Now, I am going to analyze by article. Let's find a good article first. I am going to choose this one. Let's see if it has enough content. Looks good to me. Let me copy the URL. Now, I am using, WSA, article command, along with the copied URL. Now, it's browsing the article. The process looks similar, to search by author. As expected, it's providing the content first. Then, we get the complete analysis, similar to previous examples. We have three commands in this GPT. You can use any of the three, to analyze text and identify the writing style. I strongly recommend you to get a basic writing style first, and then improve it by telling chat GPT what you like, and what you don't. Ultimately, you will get a perfect prompt to write in the style of your preference. I explained the process of creating a writing style analyzer with GPTs. Now, what if you don't have a plus subscription? We can still analyze the text manually, in a basic level. Let me show you how to do it. Here, I am logged into a free chat GPT account. So, I don't have access to GPTs. Let me start the process. First, you have to go to custom instructions and settings section. Now, I am going to copy the instructions of my GPT, and paste them into custom instructions. I will add a link in the description of this video, with complete instructions. It seems like instructions has 3000 plus characters. Free account only supports 1500 characters. So, I have to remove some instructions to get it to the allowed limit. Free account doesn't have internet access. So, analyzing content by author, and article is not going to work. So, I will remove those two commands. Then, I have to remove some of the analyzing guidelines to get it within the limit. That's why I said, the analysis will be basic. Now, the instructions are within the limit. 
let me save the custom instructions. Now, I can run the WSA, text command, with sample text. As usual, free version also analyzes the content based on given guidelines. The format of the output is same as the one we got with GPTs. Let's compare the output of free version, with the output of our GPT and plus version. In general, the output looks similar. However, analysis with GPT-4 is likely to be better than the quality of free version, which uses GPT-3.5. That's it for today. Hopefully, you learned how to use a GPT to analyze writing styles. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and like this video to see more AI related videos.